Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at part 4, the finale of the Critical Delay series, a mod that was buffed with the Corpus Railjack. Now today we'll be taking a look at a couple of bows that can use this mod best. What better bow to start this off with than the Kuva Brahma? The Kuva Brahma is a lich weapon, and I'm sure you know what that means about the grind behind it, but rest assured it is well worth it because this is one of the top tier primary weapons. We've got a cookie cutter Toxin Kuva Brahma build here today with Prime Cry Rounds to create viral on a Hunter Munition setup. You got your standard crits and your multi shot, as well as Heavy Caliber to really pump up those slash ticks further. Vigilante Supplies helps us deal with the very low ammo reserves. Now let's try this out on the 150 Heavy Gunners. You can see they pretty much die in nearly a single shot so long as I hit them in the face, but a big issue with this is with Heavy Caliber's accuracy penalty, a lot of the bullets sail past them and just travel into the distance doing absolutely nothing. So it is always better to be shooting from a point above where possible you can rain down on their heads as well as hitting the floor and killing anything around them. Additionally, with Prime Surefooted, you can shoot into the floor as you pass through the enemies, which is exactly the catalyst, I think, for why self-damage was removed and self-stagger was added into the game. Now, Critical Delay lets you change the build up somewhat, reaching 100% critical chance without the need for any other critical chance source. However, this significantly slows down the draw rate, so you need Vile Acceleration to compensate. In exchange, this drops the charge all the way down to 0.19 or over twice as fast as before. This means it's a lot easier to spam your shots, but also means you'll be draining your ammo that much faster, so Vigilante Supplies becomes that much more important. Just look at how fast I can notch these arrows now. You lose a bit of damage, but at this point you can basically just spray. The same model from before still holds true, where it's better to have a height advantage so you can just spray down from above, and at this point with the sheer amount of shots, headshots are less important. Just like before, you can still shoot through into the ground as you pass through your enemies on a drive-by. It'll be even faster than before, however you won't get immediate kills. You'll still get the same effect from the slash procs though. If you don't want to deal with Banes, you can slot in Heavy Caliber. This will do more damage on off factions, but it is less damage than using Bane on the correct faction. Now we really do need this Vile Acceleration, because if I take it off, the charge time goes all the way up to 1.43, which is nearly unusable. So that about sums up Kuva Brahma with Critical Delay, just the side grade, not an upgrade. Our second bow we'll take a look at today is the Daikyu. Now I covered this before in the internal bleeding videos because it has force impact on the arrow shots. I'll remind you what this looks like now. You just only need one shot to the face and it is generally enough to kill those heavy gunners. So long as the slash actually procs, I don't know what happened there, that was just unlucky. But I'm just cleaning shop here. 2 slash ticks is all you need. Now what if I told you you can run a different build? Internal Bleeding Critical Delay. In this case, you actually have to sacrifice the faction mod, but that is okay, because you're slotting in Vile Acceleration instead. Now the charge rate is all the way down to 0.48 inside of a full second, letting you spamming it a lot better. And I'm actually also slotting on split flights, as at this point, because you have forced impact procs, you don't actually need guaranteed headshots, and you can just spam fire them. Everything else into the body will still proc slash and kill them off. This type of Daikyu build is much more suited to shooting into crowds, so you don't have to focus as much on headshots and lets you just fire it a lot faster. Moving on to our next bow, we'll taking a look at Cernos Prime. This is your pretty standard Cernos Prime build with point strike. What's really important here is split flights, as you normally will want to be using it on the vertical spread, and a unique perk is the accuracy penalty actually turns into a perfectly horizontal headshot spread. This means now you can shred crowds by just firing at one head, you're gonna hit multiple more. Now how can you take advantage of this with critical delay? Well, you can't just use the same build as before because the charge rate goes all the way up to 1.79, which is basically unusable, and you can't slot on Vile Acceleration because Cernos Prime is not a Brahma. It needs all the damage it can get, so you need to keep that smite on. So instead, we're gonna shift from a viral crit build to a pure slash crit build. This means we can still keep the smite, as well as split flights and critical delay. We're going to be using bladed rounds instead, which is perfectly fine since you'll be shooting out a bajillion arrows anyway, so it should be very easy to keep the mod buff active. 
Now you can see I'm doing a little bit less damage, but once again this lets you spray easier into crowds, getting more headshots and more horizontal spread. You can actually see in this second showcase where I'm shooting from the side, everything actually dies faster when there is a crowd. So I would say it is another side grade where if you need it for crowd control, it is an actual upgrade, but single target is a downgrade. Moving into our last bow today, we'll be taking a look at the Ractosernos. Now the Ractosernos is unique in being the only bow that has a 0.25 second charge rate. This is extremely important that will come into play later. Now you have two possible builds you can use for this. It's typically used as a pure crit build since it doesn't have enough status to really be viable for viral. You can use Vigilante Armaments for that extra slash procs or Argon Scope to guarantee crits so that every single slash is building off a crit. You need 2-3 to three headshots into these heavy gunners, usually 2 to kill them off with a slash ticks. It's a very nice handling weapon, however it doesn't have too much of a firepower. So I would say it's kind of a severely dumbed down DiQ or a single target Cern. Prime. As I said, Argon Scope with the alternative here, I can't slot it in due to my polarity problems. But let's take a look at the final build. This is another critical delay setup. We can actually switch to a Malignant Force Rhyme Rounds Viral because we are also running split flights on the build with Huntress Munitions. So we actually have enough arrows now to take advantage of that 33% status chance. The charge rate only goes up to 0.79, but what's important here is you do not need to charge the weapon. You can just tap fire it once you build up enough split flight stacks. You can even use the tap fire to build up viral and then charge your full shot to the head with split flights to take full advantage of all of those juicy force crits as well as hunter munitions proccing off of it. There's no need to worry about the charge rate penalty from critical delay as the base 0.25 only pushes your charge up to 0.79 meaning you can still maintain the full stacks of split flights as you choose to charge your shot at a head for full damage. You'll probably only be using it for the tankiest enemies as the sheer amount of viral and slash procs from the tap shoot will be enough to kill almost everything else. Well, that about sums up the end of my Critical Delay series. I hope you enjoyed what I showed you today on how you can use this on bows and how each bow is actually unique on how it interacts with Critical Delay. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 74.8% of you are not subscribed. You may want to reconsider as I'll be making sure to cover all I can instantly as soon as Tempest Story drops later today. I predict it will be happening at 2pm EST so stay tuned and keep an eye out for that as you'll want to experience that update as soon as possible. That's it for this video, thank you all for watching and see you all next time.